we're ready to bring up this laptop using the USB stick on it and we're just gonna say USB hard drive in the menu even though it's a stick well it, you can call it this a universal a universal serial bus flash drive or just a UFD so that's what we're gonna do now we've selected that option and there it goes very good and it's now loading files which is what we wanted to see and after that it should bring up our Windows recovery environment and the fully enabled Windows PE 3.0 so as you see it's showing now the how should I put it the Windows 7 sparks that turn to a flag and there is the recovery options I'm just gonna say next on this screen and it did find a Windows 7 operating system and a part of the recovery it will do is just look to see if there's any other Windows installations okay and it only found the one Windows 7 that's fine that's all we have on here and I'm gonna click next at this time and now as you see we have all the different recovery tools we got startup and repair we got the system restore so we can restore to an earlier point in time if we've done system restores we have the system image recovery so if we've done a complete system image we can put stuff back we even have the ability to uh, run memory diagnostics uh, but that's done on a boot so in any case I'm going to the command prompt which is Windows PE and as you see in Windows PE it's more or less just a command prompt window but in this case it's running on the X drive and we're in the Windows slash system 32 RAM disk in the X drive and I should look for and see if image X that I had copied over here earlier is on this system and sure enough there it is right here image X uh, moreover if we look at even just all the executables available to us you will see there's there's quite a substantial substantial amount so uh, running anywhere from ARP, Atrib, the BCD boot, BCD edit. We have several of the uh, BitLocker commands. We have the boot CFG and boot rec command, boot set command, check disk, even command.exe. And I'm not going to read you every tool, but you can see there's plenty here, including the image X we put on. There's dr DRV, LOAD. Or driver load. DISM was on there. We have NetSH, which helps us basically. We can do uh, all kinds of stuff with our network network interface and also with our um, firewall. Path ping is there. We have access here to Robocopy and even RegEdit, as you can see. So, aside from the image X that I put on earlier, uh, these are the default tools that are found in Windows PE. But in any case, this concludes this particular demonstration of using it. And I'm just going to go ahead and exit and then reboot the system into normal Windows mode. So, thanks for watching, and goodbye Windows RE slash PE.